you're going to make a side-scrolling hack and slash platformer for mobile, you're going to have to make sure it's really good. There are loads of games that offer similar experiences on the go, so retreading the same old ground just isn't going to cut it. Luckily, that's something Blackmore 2 understands perfectly. The game sees you picking a warrior, then making your way through a series of levels, murdering everything that moves, and quite a few things that don't. But there are more than enough fresh ideas here to make it an easy game to recommend. Once you've picked your character, you stomp out into the campaign. This isn't a one-time thing. You can play any level you've unlocked with any of the other characters you've got. Don't like the warrior? Then just try something else. Buttons along the bottom of the screen control your movement, attacks, and jumps. As you power up the different characters, you'll unlock special moves that you can unleash. These appear on screen when you've unlocked them, which does make things a little fiddly when you've got a full power slugger on a small screen. That's only a small issue though, especially when the violence Blackmore 2 offers up is so enticing. It's not a mindless button blatter, nor is it a more precise slaughterer like Grim Valor. It sits somewhere between these two poles, and it makes for a really engaging experience. The game is structured in a way that anyone who's played a platformer is going to understand. There's a hub world, and from there you can move to the campaign levels that you've unlocked. There's way more going on here than just the story mode though. There are user-created dungeons, as well as a level editor that allows you to create your own. It's pretty easy to use as well, so you'll be able to build challenges for your friends and strangers to take on. One thing that really stands out in Blackmore 2 is the sheer variety of enemies. There are skeletons, ratty thieves, giant ogres, swinging deadly maces, and much, much more. Almost every level sees you facing off against some new foe, which means you're always learning new offensive and defensive tactics. Blackmore 2 knows what its players want, and it sets out to give them as much of it as it possibly can. It's tricky when it needs to be, frantic when it wants to show off, and surprisingly smart for a game in a genre that's often described as mindless. You're gonna have fun, is what we're trying to say. There's nothing here to change your mind about action platformers, but Blackmore 2 is so well put together that you can look at it as a love letter to jumping, slashing, and boss fights.